Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to the long-awaited Super Sim series. A series in The Sims 4 where we try to get all of the skills, earn top level of every career, get all of the aspirations completed, earn all the degrees, get all the milestones, and do everything you can do with a single Sim. Now we're just working on a bracelet here to prevent writer's block because one of the aspirations that we have to do is the best-selling author and I only have one bestseller so I don't want to get writer's block since I can't tell when I have it. So if we can do this bracelet and charge it then I think that will help us a lot. Another goal I want to start working on soon is the goals of the romance aspiration. But I'm going to hold off on that so we won't start this episode. But starting next week, I want to have one sim that will be Carla's soulmate. And we need to complete that aspiration first. And then we need to kind of cheat on them and catch them cheating in order to satisfy a milestone or two. And then we will probably move into the more polyamorous aspirations such as the serial romantic aspiration and all of the aspirations that came with love struck so if you would like to design a sim for carla to marry and have that sim be her first marriage then upload them to the gallery under hashtag charity codes or just leave your gallery ID down below and tell me which sim it is. And we will either vote on it if there's enough sims, or I will just pick whoever actually makes me a sim. Doesn't matter what they are. Doesn't. It's just that um, Carla is female, so they need to like to romance and woohoo with females. It doesn't matter anything else. You can pick whatever you want, even if they are not capable of becoming pregnant or getting others pregnant, then we will just have science babies. So that's fine. Okay, Caitlin wants to go out to a date at a restaurant. I do have some restaurants in my game. I think they're from the ones that came with Dine Out, but I don't have Carl's Dine Out reloaded in my game. So this may not go well, but we're gonna go anyway. Oh, it's in Strangerville, and I haven't been to Strangerville in this save file yet. Let's go ahead and sit outside. Okay, the chef is maybe starting a fire in there. Okay, I guess we'll get some root beer floats. And some pizza. Carla really doesn't eat. But we can satisfy our prank day goals. Okay, let's see if Caitlyn is attracted to us. Probably not because of the new Love Struck pack. No one has any preferences to start out with. Yeah, she's not too uh, keen on us now. She did have a crush on us before. Oh, she likes hot pink hair. She does have turn-ons and turn-offs. Okay, so townies that were in your game before the romance pack came out, actually have assigned turn-ons and turn-offs. And she likes hot pink hair. And my hair is not hot pink, but it is pink. Oh, are we gonna get our food? Oh, it's a miracle. We got our food. That's actually a really cute setup. Maybe I should assign some turn-ons and turn-offs for Carla. I mean, it's going to be kind of boring since she doesn't have any. And I think that's what happened with any played Sims or played households you had when the romance pack came out is that none of them got random romance turn-ons and turn-offs. Uh, yeah, you got a toddler. No, thank you. Okay, we actually don't have a date event going on here, so I'm going to end the meal and pay the bill since I have to pay it. And then we're just going to go home. Stephanie and you are such a great pair. You two should think of something more long term. Is that the girl we just went out with? No, Stephanie is not. It was Caitlin, I thought. Who is Stephanie? Oh, the vampire. 
Um, yeah, we're not really a great pair. She only has a little bit of romantic interest in her and no friendship. In fact, Stephanie doesn't like me a little bit. And Caitlin is a much better match. So I don't know why she's saying that. Okay, good. That was a bestseller. We have a children's book. And that finished the last one. Okay, so we have completed three bestsellers and we finished the best-selling author aspiration. So that means we've done all of the animal aspirations, all of the athletic aspirations, and for creativity, we are stuck on master actress because we need to join the actor career and we're not doing that probably not anytime soon. And then we need to do the musical genius one. For that, we just need to practice some piano. Okay, we have another obsidian chick. Hi, chicky. Aren't you so cute? Okay, there's no more classes for today, but there is work. So we'll probably go to work today in order to get promoted. And then we'll work on our musical genius aspiration and hopefully have another one to tick off. Once again, I'm asking for your support for the We Wear Bags neighborhood action plan. It's going up for a vote, but currently Rock Your Body and Mind is predicted to win. We need every Sim to get out and vote. Can we trust that we'll have your support? No way. I don't like the We Wear Bags one. Uh, what? Why would you do that? Didn't you read the fine print of Rock Your Body and Mind? It's not a good idea. Our plan, on the other hand, will be very good for this neighborhood. Well, in any case, don't forget to submit your vote by Monday at 6 p.m., either at your mailbox or a public voting board. I'm not wearing a bag on my head. And I know it doesn't make your playable sims wear the bags on their head. It should. It really should. But it doesn't. And I protest. No. Oh yeah, we have to go to work. I'm almost done. And final grades. Yeah, we have an A plus in everything. Okay, so we have art history, biology, computer science, and the mixologist certificate. I'm not sure which one we just earned. Anyway, okay, so we're working on the distinguished degrees. I think we're in Foxbury. Yeah, Foxbury. And we're going to go for economics next. What? No! <laughs> I need to get rid of that scholarship. I completely forgot. No, 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 no. It made me quit my career and I'm still at my career. What the heck? Okay. Uh, skip work. Come home, Carla. Let's quit that career. I <laughs> completely forgot. I was going to get promoted, too. Okay, you're eSports competitor level four. Let us quit this career and not re-enroll in it. Why did it make me re-enroll? I know I have the scholarship for it, but that is annoying. Okay, so I quit that career. Okay. And I can rejoin or we can go for soccer team player. I think we're going to go for soccer team player since she's at university. I was planning on doing this one at Brightchester, but I don't think it really matters what university you're at when you do these. And I just want to get it out of the way. So we'll enroll in the soccer team player one. And then hopefully next time it doesn't make me quit my current career in order to stay in this one. I think it did that because I had the scholarship. Okay, now we are a soccer team player. <laughs> You're either bad are really new. Either way, the team doesn't quite trust you enough to put you on the field. Work hard, practice, and someday you'll be kicking on the field with your teammates during the big weekend game. So soccer games are Fridays and Saturdays at 6 p.m. 
And we're currently a trainee. In other words, we don't even warm the bench. We get the bench warmer as a promotion. <laughs> okay. So we need to practice kicking or juggling. And if you go to the business section on your friends panel, you'll see who your teammates are. And what you can do is just add them on Social Bunny, hopefully. If you don't know them, you can invite them over. Oh, yes, and we can add them in this list. They show up, too. Okay, yes, and that counts as making a friend with my teammate, even if I do it on Social Bunny. And it's really nice to be in a tiny home when you're doing that because it actually makes that go quicker, so you don't have to click as much. Okay, we do have class tomorrow so we need to do mixing with managers and the economy of relationships homework oh, look who it is it's thunder should we have thunder join our household i know i talked about it but i'm not sure i'm ready for another pet yet we'll just let him roam around and make sure that his spirit doesn't go the way of the um culling process and we have completed the musical genius aspiration. All right, well, which one should we do next? The next one in the list, if we're just going down the line, is going to be Lady of the Knits. So I think I'm just going to finish my homework because that's kind of boring. I'm not looking forward to starting that one. We have class at 8 a.m. Okay, this time it's Christopher who is the wealthy weirdo. Sure, we'll, we're going to go meet the wealthy weirdo. I don't think anything will come of it, but Christopher is our wealthy weirdo in this series. Oh, the only thing is, is that it makes her very playful, which is annoying. And we're promoted to bench warmer. Now, it was really easy to get the first promotion. But I'm not sure about subsequent levels. Can we bribe for performance in this particular career? No, it looks like we can't. We can play hooky, but we're not doing that. Okay, we met the wealthy weirdo and we got some collectibles. That's basically all you get. Okay, so discuss soccer strategies is under hobbies. And I think you have to do it with a teammate. It wasn't really letting me with the butler. No, it does not let me discuss it with the butler, which kind of makes sense, but it's annoying that I have to invite my teammates over in order to do that activity. Because sometimes they won't come over in the middle of the night. I only had to do it once, though. Oh, no. Grim is here for one of the chickens. Which one? I think it's Goldie. Yeah. Of course, he'll be stuck over here because I have evil chickens. Are the evil chickens going to hurt you or is it just, no, you're just going to take my chicken. Okay, well, time for class. Okay, we're going to purchase our last perk point for spellcaster. So we are now a max level spellcaster with all of the talent points and perks purchased. Now, the talent points will continue to accumulate for as long as we're a spellcaster, but there's really nothing more that we can do with them because only the werewolves have the ability to turn them into satisfaction points, which we have too many satisfaction points anyway, so it's not like we really need the talent points. So for right now, I'm just going to leave Carla as a spellcaster unless there's a reason to turn her into something else. Because being a spellcaster actually gives you a lot more perks than the other occults, I feel. And it's especially better than being a werewolf. Because a werewolf is just annoying. They have to manage their rage and you might lose control of your character at any time if you get too much rage. And even though we probably got it to the point where she wouldn't get very much rage anymore, it's still something that I don't want to happen. So I'm going to say no to werewolf. And I don't really care for vampire 
as well, just because there's almost nothing that can satisfy a vampire's thirst or prevent it from decreasing. And it's just annoying to always be thirsty and always having to drink plasma packs. It is a little bit annoying because you have to purchase them and drink them and it takes time in the game. And I'm just trying to reduce the number of clicks that I have to do here. So we are going to say we're a spellcaster and we never have to drink the potions anyway because almost all of our needs are frozen due to our reward traits. So the only thing that's not frozen is fun and fun can be taken care of by the headphones. Okay, we're promoted to starter. So that is level three of the soccer team player career. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. I want you to <laughs> transport over there. Why can't you transport over there? Oh, seriously? I've got to walk from here all the way over here because there's no option to transportalate. Do I have to turn it off in order to specify transportalate? Or was it because you were holding the homework? I don't think so because she transportalates all the time when she comes home. Why can she not transportalate over here? Okay, now I can. I don't want to walk all the way over there and that's where she goes when she does her presentation and it takes her forever to get there. Okay, and now she's back and she would be running all the way up here in order to go home and then go to class. But no, as long as you turn off the auto transportalate, you can have her do it manually. Okay. Okay, I need to be inspired. That might be a problem because I have a familiar and she has confidence. And okay, so that one is only happy buff. If I dismiss my familiar, maybe that will help. I'm instantly knitting level three. Oh no, I did get some knitting when I was pranking the university statues. That's right. So I didn't start off at level one. Okay, it looks like we're losing Charles now. That's the one bad thing about having pets and livestock is that they eventually get taken away by Graham. And I know I can extend their aging by upgrading the coop, but that requires me to do tasks in Hinford on Bagley, and I haven't done that yet. Yeah, the only thing I don't like about knitting is that it seems like I cannot resume them or frog them even. That is annoying. Great, I'm just going to have those in progress all the time. Now the injuries are an annoying because they make you sit on the bench starting out when you go to soccer practice. So I'm going to get rid of all of my buffs and I'm no longer injured. And the reason why that's one of the most powerful spells in the game is that spellcasters can basically reset any cooldown or anything that's preventing them from getting good results just by drinking that potion. It will completely eliminate all of your buffs, which most cooldowns are tracked as buffs. Okay, so I can only knit something if I have enough time and patience to complete the entire thing. Because if I don't then unfortunately I can never complete it and I can never frog it and it will just forever be on my menu here for resuming it. Great. And we have maxed the knitting skill without finishing a single thing. I'm almost done with this first one. Okay, now we need to knit while listening to music and sell a knitted object on Plopsy. Uh, the only thing about that is I really want to keep these. Yeah, if I add it to my wardrobe, it disappears. So I need another black and gray women's sweater. When you're in the soccer career and you practice hard, it actually takes away from your energy. 
even if you have the never sleepy or never weary reward trait, it doesn't matter. It will still make your energy go down. Uh, I can't go out on a date right now. Sorry, Caitlin. Um, maybe later. I've actually got my soccer game in less than an hour. Christopher too? No, not right now. I'm about to go out. That's two date requests in a row. Okay, soccer game moment. This is what determines whether or not we win. You notice a dog running down the sidelight of the field. Lure the dog onto the field to distract your opponents or ignore the dog. Ah, I don't know which one is more likely to succeed, but I think maybe luring the dog will be a goofball. Okay, so it's mischief. Okay, Carla's mischievous plan goes off without a hitch. She whistles, the pup comes running onto the field, and a member of the opposing team immediately lets their guard down to pet the dog. Carla doesn't hesitate to take advantage and blows past the defender to position herself in front of the other team's net. Okay, hopefully we should win because she's really skilled at fitness and mischief you have to win the soccer game to get promoted to the next promotion and that's the top of the soccer team player career another one okay you've got the ball and you're running down the wing execute a piercing pass to a teammate or cut in and try to score well carla's the best she's going to try to score and goal Carla angles towards the goal, winds up, and delivers a powerful shot. The ball sails straight and true, whizzing past the goaltender and finding the back of the net. Okay, did they win the game? They, they did. They won the game. And she's still a starter? She's not a playmaker? Oh, come on. She won the soccer game, but she's going to have to start over next semester. Maybe. I don't know. Well, anyway, she should have gotten a promotion, but she didn't get promoted. So next semester, she should be able to get promoted unless there is a practice on Monday. But it won't be before we get our grades. So, okay. Well, we'll have to do the soccer career one more time. Oh, someone wants to buy the Plopsy item. Now we just have to mail it. Okay, now if we can knit while listening to music, we'll finish this. Oh, my butler is not going to be able to sleep. Sorry, butler. I had to put it in here because it has to be in the same room as the chair. Well, he's sleeping anyway. Yeah, in order to do the knit while listening to music, you have to first listen to the music and then sit down and start knitting. I don't really like that. Okay, I'll turn off the metal. Although, maybe I won't. I'll just keep him up all night. Was that sweater not excellent? Oh, it was legendary. Excuse me. Why did I not get credit for an excellent sweater? Because I knitted a legendary item. Great. Don't tell me that was legendary too. No, it's normal. Oh, come on. All right. This is going to be tough. It has to be exactly excellent. Okay, now we have to wear that ugly sweater. <laughs> well, we have to wear the sweater because we have to show it off. Um, Which one do I have? Is it not showing? Is it a full body one? It probably is a full body one. Okay, yeah. Well, it's not too bad. Okay, show off knitted clothing is under friendly, but no subcategory. So annoying to find these sometimes. Okay, I don't know if this counts. Uh, it does. Okay, so a knitted sweater dress is the same thing as a sweater. Okay, now we have to successfully gift three knittables. So maybe we'll try to knit another one of those men's sweaters. Oh, there's actually a soccer game tonight, isn't there? Yeah, there's one on Friday and Saturday. 
So maybe we can get promoted at the end of Saturday's game. Because I think the problem was that she hadn't won the game yet. And she came home and had to get the check mark for winning a game first and then go to another event or practice. Mm -hmm. Do we have a new butler? We do. I'm not sure what happened to the old butler. Um, but there he is. Maybe we'll just give him a sweater because I knitted that sweater for him and it was normal. Okay. Is that a successful right. gift? You get a teal men sweater. Um, no, he didn't like it. Really? Fine. I guess I'll make a sweater dress maybe for my new butler. Maybe it would be better if I gifted clothing to people who actually liked me. <laughs> who knows? It's normal too. Okay, I had one legendary and one normal one. This is ridiculous. So we're going to give this one to our new butler and hopefully she likes black and white. Okay, I think she was appreciative. No. Okay, maybe because it's a normal sweater and they don't know me, they don't like it. Well, this is not going well at all. Okay, I don't want to start another project because I have a game starting in four hours and I don't remember how long it takes to knit. Oh, but I should go to the Finchwick Fair. Oh, yeah, we got to enter the Finchwick Fair. Okay, we'll bake a pie really quick because it's the pie competition and the oversized crop competition. Okay, so we'll do the pie competition with our banana cream pie. And then this competition with our oversized mushroom. Why is the flower shop lady not there? That's never good. I think that happened to me before. Am I never going to get a flower shop person ever again because they're dead or something? Oh, I need to study my plays. And she was promoted. So we did finish the soccer career. Now change out of that outfit. Okay, for the Finchwick Fair, we got first place for the oversized crop. And I didn't see, okay, here's the other one. Second place for the pie. Oh, that's my first second place ribbon. I don't know if I've ever gotten second place. So that's good. I think those are two ribbons that I didn't get before. We will just have to continue to go to the Finchwick Fair. And I did get my pie back. And I hope I got my crop back too. Okay, it is in my regular inventory, which is fine. And I'm just going to sell that because, well, maybe I'll make it decorative. Oh, there's no... Oh, turn into a toadstool or, or turn toadstool into a stool. Can we, oh, I have to do it manually. Okay, fine. I don't know if this actually stands up so that you can sit on it. If it does, that would be nice, but I think it just makes it decorative. Well, we're just waiting for the end of the day to come around and we're going to continue our knitting. So remember, if you have any Sims that you would like Carla to make her first soulmate, then please leave a comment with your gallery ID and then I will look them up later on and maybe we'll vote on them if I get a couple at least. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>